Hello there, Eric here again, and I'm continuing my digital publication project looking to put a application for the iPad into the App Store using the digital publishing suite from Adobe products. Uh, this is a on the web, in the cloud type uh, service, uh, and you use a variety of different Adobe products to eventually publish to different uh, mobile devices but I'm looking to go to the iPad. I'm using InDesign mostly. You see here uh, I've already done some work. You can see a previous video I've done a lot of work into navigation. Uh, this is a spread for a table of contents for a publication I've already done. I'm just going to preview this how this would have looked in an older version. Did some navigation left, right, up, down, some scrolling pages added elements, even some uh, animations. Good thing about this older version is that I created, uh, because it's a little more simplified, I was able to create landscape and portrait versions. I'm just going to switch to portrait. That's how, if you were just tilt your iPad, that's how it would have looked. And you just tilt it back. You can do that with all the pages scrolling up and down there. I unfortunately had to stop that because one, uh, it's very time consuming to do it both ways and the more interactive elements that you in put into the pages, the more harder it is to uh, fit them into both landscape and horizontal and make it work right. So I did some a uh, lot of work into navigation and uh, one thing I did recently is did some play testing and uh, right here was my first uh, big interactive element and I use Adobe Captivate to put in a slight scenario type situation where a uh, user was presented with some uh, verbal dialogue and asked to answer a quiz and this is where the users tripped up the most uh, it loaded up slow and a lot of users didn't even finish it and if you swiped to a different page and you came back you had to start it again because the HTML loaded over again. There were just a, uh, several um, problems with that. And so I'm looking to add some game type elements into a, a newer version. We're just going to load that up now. One thing about the older version and the newer version, here we are again. Uh, same type of elements, just added a couple of more visually, it just looks more visually uh, clean, cleaned it up a bit. I was able to do that a little, spend more time um, making it look cleaner because I w wasn't worried so much about the uh, looking at in both landscape and portrait and uh, added a couple of menu options on every site so the top of every page you can see, you, know, you can go down by menu or by scrolling this type of new character pages here there are some ele interactive elements on these pages as well <clears throat> but the main thing I'd like to show you is the new interactive elements so you can click on these what it used to be a Adobe Captivate file. I put this all into native uh, InDesign and hopefully it's a little more game like. So you listen to a short dialogue and try to answer a question. And you can go until you get it right. And it goes for another character and dialogue, different dialogues. You can listen to the dialogue first and then you can scroll through the different uh, text from the dialogue, start over. You can see it in the native language and uh, see some uh, cultural type uh, points that I've written about it. And as you go along here, you can uh, check the different vocabulary that's, that's, uh, you can see in the dialogue. So hopefully it's a little more interactive. You can listen whenever you want at any stage during here. You can go through 
and uh, maybe listen to the dialogue while looking at the Japanese or maybe listen to the dialogue while uh, scrolling through and looking at some, uh, some vocabularies. So what I've done with the older Captivate files is that I've ported them all to the web and I've added some links. See this quiz here, that'll take you to a website, the Together Learning Center website I've created using Joomla and uh, I've integrated a Moodle site inside of it for uh, quizzing and testing and assessment purposes. So hopefully this uh, to get some quizzing going you can go here and test your knowledge and I can have better and more full control over the website. I don't, every time I have to update the app it's going to take a little while so I'm going to try and port all that uh, quizzing and application stuff into the website and you can log in here with Facebook and it'll be incorporated with a Facebook page and hopefully if you be down the road be able to add some uh, a social integration so the next steps I'm going to be submitting this to the Apple App Store and I've uh, downloaded Xcode onto my MacBook and now I'm creating some certificates using my MacBook and uh, authorizing my iPad I have to physically hook in my iPad to my Mac and authorize it for uh, beta testing of these different apps. If you're interested in seeing what exactly digital publishing can do on the iPad, here's a little app you can download on your iPad. It's called Digital Publishing Suite Tips. It just goes through, it's actually made with InDesign, and it goes through all the different types of uh, interactive elements that you can make and uh, gives you a little. Uh, a bit of a tutorial but it's more a good guide to sh just to let you know what kind of stuff you can do using this type of uh, publication software all right that's Eric and that's an update into digital publishing project if you'd like to collaborate Facebook me or Twitter me thanks